What is up guys, this is Max Square, and in this video, I wanted to go over some of my tips for organizing your menu bar. So I've done a couple of videos like this in the past where I show you how to organize your finder, your change your app icons, your wallpaper, those kind of things, but I realized I never did anything for the menu bar. So you'll see that my menu bar at the top here is pretty clean. It's only got a couple icons. Now, it's actually even less than this. The camera icon isn't usually there on the day-to-day -day basis. It's just for when I'm recording videos. This is just the screen flow icon. Now, before we get any further, I just want to mention that any of the apps I talk about in this video were apps that I paid for or just found on my own. They're not sponsored, and I'm not doing a plug for any of that stuff. I'm just making a video and sharing it with you all. Now the links for all the resources I mention will be in the description down below, so be sure to check those out. So starting off with the battery percentage here, this isn't the system battery percentage. I actually am using an app called Battery Monitor. This is a free app and the reason I chose it is basically because I just wanted the percentage with no icon and then I also wanted some more information about how my battery is doing and more of an exact estimation to how much time I have left on the battery. Now because it is plugged in, you'll see that it just has this little lightning icon next to it, but when it is unplugged, it actually gives you an estimate of how many hours you have left. And I found this to be pretty accurate. I use it every day at school, and I use it for pretty much every class, and so that's about seven, eight hours a day, and I, it lasts me a full charge, but I'm able to see exactly how much time I have left. Next, I'm using an app called Theen. I may be butchering that pronunciation, but this app basically just keeps your Mac awake. Now I chose this over caffeine and amphetamine because first of all, caffeine has kind of a non-retina icon on it and I was kind of too lazy to just go in there and change it. And then amphetamine just had a bunch of different options and menus that I didn't feel like messing around with. Now Theen is about $2 I think. I got it on a sale just a few days ago. But it's super simple. All you have to do is just click on the icon and then it'll keep your Mac awake and you can set for how long you want it to do that. I just have it set to indefinitely so whenever I know I'm going into a class or anything like that and I need it for the whole duration of that time, I just click it and I'm good to go. Next I just have the time, pretty simple there. And then I have the spotlight search icon. Now this is kind of an interesting thing because I never use the spotlight icon. I always just hit command space when I'm searching for something, but I did some research on how to change and hide that icon, and it's a little more complicated than just hiding it all together using an app, which I'll get into in a second. You do have to actually go and do some terminal commands, I think, and those kind of things, and I just didn't feel like putting in all that work. So it is an option if you're interested, but I didn't feel like going to those links. Now lastly, I have an app called Bartender. I'm using Bartender 2, it's, I think it's about 15 bucks, but I had the first version, so I paid about seven or eight bucks to upgrade. Basically what this app does is it just creates a second menu bar that's hidden, where you can store secondary apps that you don't always need, but you sometimes need to get to. So if I just click on these three dots, you'll see that apps like Drive, Dropbox, Creative Cloud will appear. But I don't use these like every day, and maybe just a couple times a week, so I don't wanna see it all the time, so I just hide it with Bartender. Once again, this is not sponsored by Bartender. I did pay for this app, but just giving you a brief overview of what it does, you can open up preferences, and then it'll show you all of the apps that you're running, and you have three options. You can either completely hide the app, you can show it in the secondary bar here in Bartender, or you can just show it like normal in the main menu bar. You also have a couple options for what icon Bartender uses, which I always love those kind of customization features. So you can change it to like a box, glasses, bow tie, which I thought was pretty cool. And lastly, you can activate the Bartender bar with a shortcut, which is super helpful for me because some of these apps like the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth I do use, but I don't want to have to go to the top of my screen, especially when I'm plugged into my 27 inch monitor. It's kind of a long way. And I know it sounds a little lazy, but it is super helpful to just hit my shortcut and bring that up. 
So guys, that was just a quick tutorial and kind of an overview of how I use my menu bar. But I'd love to hear how y'all are using yours and how you're organizing that. So be sure to drop those comments down below and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.